Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog and I hope you enjoy it and it includes the long ass travel back from Aberystwyth, which was just long and longer. If I can describe it in any other way, five and a half hours in a car is never nice, but hopefully I've condensed it to a very short clip, which is quite enjoyable. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say, apart from this. Roll intro. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Wednesday. Um, so myself and my other half have headed off to the Butterfly Sanctuary near Aberystwyth. So I'm now back from the Great Butterfly Adventure and um, yeah, it was really cool in there as you can see and like, yeah, I know, they, they create new species of butterflies as well, like they'll kind of breed different ones together and see what the result is and just, it's quite a cool place and if you're ever down in Aberystwyth, I advise you go to it, it's really cool and not that expensive to get in. Um, so yeah, and later on I'm going to go see a film with the other half and some friends. And so that is the day, Wednesday complete. What's up guys, welcome to Thursday. Um, so the plan today is I'm still in Aberystwyth. I'm going home tomorrow, so you'll see my lovely journey then. And um, the plan is to go to a big hill called the Pendinas, which is just in town. If you're looking from like the, from looking from the valleys, at Aberystwyth that's on the left um, and it's got a big spire on it which I'm sure my girlfriend will let me know the history of it and um, which will appear then later on in this video and uh, we're going to climb the thing because why not? So about to start the climb, got a little bit lost getting here, not going to lie. But uh, the weather seems to be holding really nicely with some thick cloud cover and occasional spots of rain, which will make this all the more entertaining. Um, so we took the uh, decision that going up the Pindinas was not a great idea for today, given that it keeps raining and hailing on us. Uh, so we are going to go to a bar and get a drink and maybe go down the coast and get some images of the waves crashing up against the seawall and stuff, because that always looks really cool.
So just went and got a nice cup of uh, tea and some cake with the uh, other half. And that would be the day's end for this one. I'm uh, probably gonna go get a drink with a friend later on in the bar. And yeah, so all in all, a fun day. Although it would have been nice to go to Pandinas, but you know what? When there's hail being thrown at you, it's probably a sign. What's up guys, welcome to Friday, and today is travel day, so sorry for the boring segment. But yeah, I'll clock in or check in, however you want to call it. So the journey, and uh, yeah, sounds about right for it. So just taking a quick break on the side of the road uh, because motorways are long and boring and uh, there isn't a service station nearby. So yeah, that's it so far. Might have a little bit of a, a little bit of a sleep as I didn't get much sleep last night. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to continue my journey back to London. So I've stopped up at uh, Irish Museum Cosford for my lunch and the machine's pay and display, so I better go pay for that and I'll have a wander around and let's see what we can see. So that's the uh, visit to RF Cosford complete. And this means one thing and one thing alone, back on the road and back on with the journey, woo! So just parked up outside my house in London and uh, about to head in and that'll be it for today. Friday, complete travel done. Thank God. Sup guys, so final little segment before I actually head off and do this job for all of nine hours and it's gonna be, woohoo. It's gonna take a while. Last little segment before I head off and do this job and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next segment. But yeah, hope it'll be cool, hope it'll go well and you know, fingers crossed and all that. What's up guys, welcome to Sunday and uh, today is going to be the day of editing. That's all I'm basically doing today. I can't really show you any of it because it's for a client, it's not personal stuff and so yeah, it's just kind of a boring day. But hey ho, gotta be done, gotta earn that money. Money, money! So as I said, my Sunday's been really just boring and I'm really sorry there's nothing to view from it. But tomorrow, ooh, tomorrow. Yes, I get to go to the bank tomorrow and the shops. I know, right, it'd be so fun. And you get to come with me. Yeah, so anyway. Such is life, that is how it is, and um, see you guys soon. What's up guys, welcome to Monday, and you know what Monday means? Monday means, uh, no, Monday means nothing, let's be honest here, Monday means the beginning of a week. Well, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, the shoot yesterday went really, really well. Again, I can't show you photos, and I can't show you them because they're for a client, but I'm going to send them to him today and ask if I can use them for media and advertising and blah, which means means they might turn up soon in a video, which would be cool. Um, yeah, so on another note, as I said, like probably a minute or two, maybe 30 seconds before this video, I'm gonna go to the bank today, and I'm gonna go to the shops. Actually, maybe not the shops, just the bank. Hey guys, so my trip to the bank is now complete and it that means, yeah, my outing for the day is done 
and uh, I get to go home and finish editing photos, which we all know is so fun. And uh, yeah, it's why I'm a photographer, because I just love to edit photos. Now, I, uh, and for those who aren't from England, or, uh, or for those who lack the understanding of sarcasm, that was sarcasm. I love taking photos, editing them is just something I've got to do on the side. But you know what? It's not too bad, I guess. Uh, you know, I could. There could be worse things, I suppose. Anyway, off I go. I'm going to have a small rant. Um, I hate application forms. I really do. And the worst ones are the ones that get you to type all your blooming details. Yeah, you know, your job history and your education, all that rubbish. And then ask you for your CV. And the reason why they are the worst ones of all is that your CV will contain all that information. And they've asked for all that information, and then they've asked for your CV. And you know what? One or the other, yeah? Because you could ask for a CV and a covering letter explaining why you want the job, which is what you should be putting in your covering letter anyway. And that would solve the whole bloody problem. But no, they make you type out all your frickin' details a hundred million times. And by the end of it, you just can't be bothered. Or at least I can't. I don't get it. I don't get the logic which goes into making one of these. Anyway, rant over. Enjoy the rest of the video. What's up guys? Welcome to Tuesday. And Tuesday is a great day because one, it's the day before Wednesday and that means I get to post another video which is uh, like the highlight of my week at the moment. Mm, how sad am I? But on happier news and better news, looking at looking forward into the future. I have a meeting today with events uh, organisers and so hopefully that will create more business for me as a photographer and woo! Yes, all good stuff. So uh, without further ado, I better head off to that. So I haven't been out to Cockfoss and had my meeting done and all of that. I have now taken the decision to walk to the shops as the sun's setting. And it's cold, like one degrees. And it's only going to get colder. And I chose to walk <laughs> to the shops. Oh well, life choices made. Just going to stick with them and I will see you when I've left the shop. Right, so now on my walk back from the shops, you can probably tell it's a lot darker now. Probably also helps that things like street lamps are also on, although they were on before. But they're probably now going to affect the light on my face. But yeah, all the fun stuff happening now. It's cold, <sighs> hence my breath looking like it does. And not only is it cold, it's also getting dark. And I've got a bag of shopping. But as my dad said to me, the only thing we're missing is flour. I bought some cereal for myself as well. But I've just got the sinking suspicion now that they're going that there's not gonna be any tuna, and so I'm not gonna be able to make what I want for dinner. But I'll just tell my dad to go get that because you know, he's only said there's you know only missing flour. Catch ya. So guys, what haven't I told you about today? Um, yeah, so I haven't actually told you how the meeting went at all. Uh, the meeting actually went really well, uh, and so I might be working with an events organising. There's a company to go take photos at. Uh, events they're putting on and stuff like that which would be really cool and uh, so that's really useful and I've put them in contact with one of my clients so you can help them sort to solve a problem which they're having with their event currently so yeah networking and business <clears throat> yeah I got this I got this going on yeah so it's happening and it's all going nicely whoa um, and that's all I can really say about today um, other than I have a phone call with a guy who wants me to do some work on his film, or potentially do some work on his film, and it just seemed like a, a lot of effort for what he was gonna actually pay me, so mm, yeah, maybe not. Hey guys, so that was my uh, my week, and hopefully it's now time to start a new one tomorrow with all the more fun and exciting stuff. Catch you then.